Hello guys, Rob here. I have been getting a lot of questions about Rex Savings. What is it? How do you do it? So in this one, we're going to cover what is Rex Savings and how do you put your Rex into savings. Now this works for EOS and Telos, but for this video, we are going to be using Telos. So for this example, we're going to be using Blocks.io integrated with Scatter to put our Rex into savings. So a couple weeks back, I did a video on how to Rex your Telos. Now there's a four to five day maturing period on those Rex until you can move them. So it's been way past that four to five day period. So now my Telos that I staked to Rex are liquid. This means that these Rex, these Telos in Rex can be moved to my liquid balance immediately. So I'll just show you an example of that here on the telos.blocks.io rex page, the rex button up here. In the land liquid telos button, this is where we staked or lent our TLOS to rex. And over here on the other side is unlend. So I'm just going to unlend 10 from this 13,000 I have on this account. Click unlend. Scatter pops up. Send the transaction and you can see my zero balance of liquid TLOS just went to 10 liquid TLOS because I unlent those TLOS from Rex. So that happened immediately. So all the TLOS I have in Rex right now, if my account were to be compromised, a hacker could move over all of those, turn them into liquid TLOS immediately, and then be able to send those wherever they wanted. This is where the savings feature comes in. That is the button right here, savings. And what this does when you send Rex to savings, they're locked. So I'm gonna move half of these Rex, these Telos and Rex into savings. Move lent TLOS to savings. I hit the 50%. I'm gonna move half of those into the Rex savings account. Allow that. So now you can see what happened. The total Rex I have here, now half is in savings and half is liquid. I go back to the unlend TLOS, the max amount, 100%, the max amount I can unlend is that 6,500 worth of TLOS that are still in liquid Rex. The Rex put into savings cannot be moved. So it is a security feature. And as long as they're in savings, they cannot be moved. And when you unlend from savings, so move lent TLOS from savings, I'm just going to take that 6,500 I just put into savings a second ago. I'm going to unlend them now. There we go. And you can see still they're not in the liquid loans. So I can't move those Rex immediate, those Telos and Rex immediately into my liquid balance. That is because it, as soon as you unmove your TLOS out of savings, it starts the four to five day timer just like you had when you first put your close into Rex. That initial four to five day maturing period where your Telos in Rex cannot be moved, that is the same thing that occurs when you move your TLOS out of savings. It says here it does not give you extra rewards. The savings account is not for extra rewards. It's just for an extra layer of security. It's like having your TLOS staked. Staked in CPU, staked in net. Once you unstake them, it takes that three day period until they become liquid. Having your TLOS in the savings, it cannot be moved. As soon as you move TLOS from savings, that's when that four to five day unstaking time occurs. So, I, so that's how you do it using scatter on telos.blocks.io in the savings section here. Again, it does not give extra rewards. It is just an added security layer, giving you the security like having your TLOS or EOS. Like I said, this does work for EOS too, the same way. Added level of security with having that unstaking time. So if this account was to be compromised, the TLOS Rex I had in savings have to be moved from savings and that would give me a four to five day window to go in and change the keys on my account and lock the hacker out. They would get nothing that was in savings. There you go guys, if you do have any questions, you can pop them down in the comments below. If you do wanna learn more about Telos, to learn how to Rex your Telos with these amazing Rex returns that we have right now. 
check out the link in the description. Thanks to the Telos community for their support via the worker proposal system. But that's it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.